what's up? Baby, what's up? What's up? Can you make a snack if I'm your looking back down? That's right. Baby, what's up? What's up? Can you make a snack if I'm your looking back down? That's right. Baby, what's up? What's up? Can you make a snack if I'm your looking back down? That's right. Baby, what's up? What's up? Can you make a snack if I'm your looking back down? That's right. Baby, what's up? What's up? Can you make a snack if I'm your looking back down? That's right. Baby, what's up? What's up? Can you make a snack if I'm your looking back down? That's right. Baby, what's up? What's up? Can you make a snack if I'm your looking back down? That's right. Baby, what's up? What's up? Can you make a snack if I'm your looking back down? That's right. Baby, what's up? What's up? Can you make a snack if I'm your looking back down? Um, today, um, we're not going to show pigeons or talk about pigeons. We're going to talk about the situation that we have in Southern California, which is the new ca- vi- virulent Newcastle disease epidemic. At this time, they say that there's no cure for the disease, but they do have vaccines. Um, they're coming to people's houses and they're euthanizing people's birds. Yet, they're not euthanizing the feral population, and this is important. Because in order for a disease to spread, the birds would have to be able to go wherever they would like to go in order to spread the disease, right? Well, what well, besides a commie can go in your yard, then jump over to the next person's yard, then go eat with the chickens, and then come back into your yard, and then go eat with the chi cheese, then go to McDonald's, the commie. But they have yet to start destroying the feral population, and this is a problem. So... My point is this, knowing the nature of the disease, you know that it takes five to six days to show symptoms. If your birds are not sick, why let them onto your property? If you allow them, if you allow the people onto your property, you've already contaminated your area because they have the disease on them. They told us that the disease is carried on your feet. The disease is carried uh, on your clothing, on your vehicles. And if you're coming to my house after you just left someone else who was contaminated, wouldn't you contaminate me? So refuse to have them on your property. By refusing to have them on your property, you in turn don't contaminate yourself. So you won't test positive. You already know your birds aren't sick because they're not showing signs. It's been six, seven months that this disease has been running around. You would know if your birds are sick because in six, seven months, you wouldn't have any birds left. They state by their knowledge, by their logic, they state that 100% of your birds are going to die if they catch the disease. Yet you still have birds. Yet you don't have a bunch of birds dying and flopping off. So why allow them into your yard? Continue to practice safe practices like uh, using a pan of bleach water, um, near the front of your cage so that you can dip your soles of your shoes into the bleach. Um, try to change clothes. Uh, if you can get a jumpsuit when you go out with your birds that you only wear with your birds, I would wear that. Um, but fellas, you have to be smarter about the disease. Listen to what they're telling you and then use the rules of what they're telling you to combat them coming to kill your birds. There's no way that you can spend 16, 17 years cultivating pigeons to allow someone to come euthanize them for a disease that they're not utilizing, utilizing, euthanizing, sorry, the whole entire population for. It just doesn't happen that way. You keep your birds in a controlled environment. Therefore, you would know when you have an outbreak. So, fellas, if you didn't call them because you have the disease, please do not allow them into your yard. You will test positive because they are positive for the disease. This is California Spinners. This is Damien. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of information, and I'm out. Don't forget to hit the like button. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for viewing. Here's a a couple of my breeders for the breeding season 2019. Uh, We're inside my breeder loft. Um, I cleaned it all earlier. uh, Earlier in the morning. Uh, Got my breeders back in it. Some of the breeders that I'm using this year. Um, as you can see, they're starting to grab nice, getting themselves situated. The hand I breed from in the dark. <laughs>
here, another one of my favorite pairs. I call this the 40 ounce pair. They breed some of the fastest reds I've seen so far. Nice 10 to 20 footers. This is all a three right here. You guys might not know what that is, but that's off a uh, nine for nine. This was a bird that goes back on one of the Swing. One of my older 
here. This is 2010. to my channel thank you for liking california spinners tv i'm damian mimic randall your host this is the pigeonhole and we're out that's right